Hello friends, in this video we will see virtual terminals available in Linux. So I'm using Ubuntu here, you can use any operating system, any uh, any Linux version, any flavors of Linux. So I'll show you an example, if I open a terminal, currently I have logged in as a Mac at Mac desktop, you can see here the computer name is Mac desktop, a Mac user logged in at Mac desktop, I can log in as Mac Ramesh, okay, unknown user. So we'll create a user. Okay, we created a. Uh, we have to create a user. Add user. Ramesh. I'll enter a password. I just uh, I have to enter full name. I'll just give some numbers, random numbers. Yes. Okay. I'll clear the screen. So now, if I want to log in as Ramesh, I can say. So I'm just giving my password. Okay. So when I when I log in from uh, root user to any other user, I don't have to give password. Uh, you can see when I say su Ramesh as a root user, I don't have to give any password. I do exit. Okay. So if I'm logging as Mac, I press enter. You can see I don't have to give any password. I'm the root user. I'm the super user. I don't have to give password to log into any uh, user's account. I do exit again. I'll exit again. So this time I am as a, a logged in as a Mac user. So if I want to log in as Ramesh and press enter, you can see it's asking me for a password. So only root user doesn't have to provide password to log in as other user. But when a normal user wants to log in as other user, he needs to provide his password. I'm just typing my uh, phone number, which is a password. Press enter. So now you can see I have logged in as Ramesh. This way more than one person can log in uh, to the system at the same time. So I'll show you one more way uh, where if so for example if the graphical user interface whatever you're using suddenly hangs and you, have, you don't have choice to restart other than restarting the system. So what you can do is you can press Control Alt F1 so it will open your virtual terminal. So you can log in from here. You can use root or any username password. So you can see you can log in as any user and you can try killing the process. You can check for the process and kill the process. Uh, you can you can check the uh, process video to know about how to kill a process. So this way we can uh, uh, kill the process which is. Uh, which is frozen, for example, some uh, application is frozen or uh, has uh, stuck in between. You can uh, kill that process. Uh, it's similar to doing a control or delete and end task in Windows XP. So you can log in with different terminals. You can say I can go to control or F3. I can go to one more terminal and can log in as a different user here. So Linux is a multi-user operating system. Many person can log in at the same time and access their uh, accounts. It's a multi-user, multi, -user, multi uh, multitasking operating system. So this way, more than one person. If you do Control Alt F7, you'll go back to the uh, graphical user interface where Mac has logged in. Control Alt F1, Control Alt F2, Control Alt F3, Control Alt F4. So, so you can log in different username with the different terminals. So these are uh, virtual terminals available for you. So normally there will be a six plus one. Six would be command line terminals, and one the control or F7 would be the graphical user interface. Now by normally you can create more using uh, some configuration in Linux. Uh, we will not worry about all those configurations. That would be a major part of uh, administration uh, task. So we'll think about essential things here. So this way we can log in as a Login through command line, control alt F1 would be one terminal, control alt F2 would be another terminal and control alt F3 would be another terminal. This way you can log into different terminals and if your graphical user interface uh, stops 
or hangs, you can use the command line to kill some processor and free up the memory or do any task. So I'll do control alt F7 to go back to graphical user interface. Friends, in this video we learned about terminals, uh, the virtual terminals available in, in Linux. We'll see more in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video.